Welcome to our demo for today. Welcome to the demo hub. In today's demo, we're talking about exclude function within Snowflake for writing SQL statements. Very fascinating. I love it. I'm a big fan of it. And hopefully in this demo, you're going to become a fan of this too, like myself. Now with a caveat out there, I'm not someone who likes to exclude. So I really think that everyone is included into this channel. Do like it, share it, and subscribe if you haven't. Really do appreciate that. Our demo for today, we're going to be talking about exclude and how could you use this when writing your select statements from within the Snowflake environment to be more productive. I have a sample database called uh, DemoDB. Within an information schema, there is a view called columns. Now, this view has a couple of columns, quite a bit over 30 or 40. A typical way you would interact with something like this would be to do a select star from columns and limit that by 10. Now, 101 of writing SQL is never do select star if possible. Let's just excuse yourself for now and go ahead to execute this with select star. It does come back with the columns. It's a long list of columns. And for whatever reason, there might be situations where you don't want to bring back all these columns. You want to eliminate, you want to exclude certain columns from your query result. What you might want to look at doing is if we go back to the objects, instead of trying to do the select star, you can always come in, add columns to editor, and now your columns are added. This statement would do exactly what we did before and give us all the columns ready to go. To exclude the last four columns per se, delete the last four columns, maximum identity, minimum identity cycle, and comment. Execute this. We now have a result with those last four columns missing. But guess what? We had to list all the other columns just to exclude the last four columns. There might be an argument to be made that that is not efficient. There is a better way. This is where the exclude function comes from. We have a statement which, like before, is going to select star. But instead of listing every column just to delete the last columns that we want, we'll just use the exclude function, exclude comments. Run this. It brings up all the results, but the comment has been excluded. Now, there might be situations where your data has dozens or hundreds of columns and you want everything except a few. So you can zero in and exclude the ones you don't want. Now, if you have multiple columns you want to exclude, exactly the same syntax, exclude minimum, identity cycle, and comment. Put all of those in parentheses to run this. So minimum and identity cycle and comment has all been excluded. Here we see maximum, but we don't see the minimum and the identity cycle. In addition to exclusion, we can also go in and rename specific columns. In this case, we're going to have a column called comment, and we want to rename that as user comment. Rename comes in handy for that. Go ahead and execute. To verify the results, we see that the column has been renamed appropriately. Next, combine the exclusion along with the rename and the syntax for that is going to be pretty much the same here exclude a couple of columns in addition rename comment go ahead and run this a few columns will be excluded and a few would be renamed verify the results we see that some columns have been excluded and the last column has been renamed to user comment here we have identity maximum but we've excluded identity minimum as always, links to all of this will be in the description below. This has been Fru here with Demo Hub. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in our next demo.